Hello to all you beautiful souls who are identified as Libra, Scorpio, or Sagittarius, either by sun, moon, or rising. My name is Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's video is going to be November 2020 predictions for those specific signs. So if you'd like, go down to the description box below. You can click on the link to your sign, and I will see you in the reading. See you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who identify as Libra, either by sun, moon, or rising. This is going to be your November 2020 predictions reading. Let's jump right into your tarot. So for the energy that you have right now, going into the month of November, you get the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is about feeling burdened or overwhelmed. So I'm sorry you've been you've been struggling with this with this energy, but um, but it does look like uh, the feeling of just uh, being overwhelmed by the regular aspects of daily life. For hidden issues, you get the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is about harmonious partnerships. Um, it's about finding and committing to a soulmate. So for those of you who have found your soulmate um, and are still kind of working through the, the particulars of it, congratulations. Uh, but this is, this is a very positive card. It's about reconciliation and peace. So it does look like that this overwhelming energy is going to be ending pretty soon as you go into November. Now, for your first week or first couple weeks in November, the first half, you get the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is all about beginnings and great decisions. It's uh, success through assertiveness. So you're definitely having a very successful first of November. Now, towards the middle, we get the card Strength. This card is all about strength. Um, this card could mean that you're going to be having additional strength that you find from reserves inside of you, or it could mean that you are going to be needing some additional strength in the mid part of November. Look at how, look at how this tigers is just, it's part of her, you know, this is her strength and, uh, <clears throat> and it can also, you know, signify strength of mind with, uh, with her intuition being highlighted there. So that's mid November. At the end, why well, you got another ace? At the end of November, you get the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands symbolizes good news. It uh, it can mean male fertility. So for those of you that are struggling trying to have a child, um, this could be your lucky moment towards the end of November. Um. Yeah, no, it's it's inspiration, ideas, new adventures. So. While this is a very heavy energy that you're taking into November with you, it definitely clears up. And by the end, it looks like you're going to be way better. Now, as far as obstacles to look out for, you get the Seven of Cups. This Seven of Cups is all about having lots and lots of options, but it also kind of carries the warning, make sure you choose the right options. You make sure you, you choose the right option for you. So that's going to be your obstacle to look out for in November is, yeah, you're going to have all these options. You're coming out of this. You have all this opportunity and good news and whatnot. But just make sure you, you put your energy towards the right things. Now, your energy as you leave November heading into December is the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Coins is about prosperity and generosity and stability. It can symbolize love and support from close family and friends, and it even could mean a wedding. So for those of you who have met and committed to your soulmate, you may be starting to plan your wedding towards the end of November. Um, either that or some of you may be getting married at the end of November, beginning of December. So congratulations to all of you who are making that, uh, that life path change right now. Now, for angel messages, for the beginning, you got Archangel Uriel. Archangel Uriel is all about wisdom, creativity, and intellect. The, uh, the affirmations that go with him are, I honor and listen to my own inner seeing and knowing. I trust Archangel Uriel's guiding light. 
So you're definitely going to have guardian angel looking out for you during the first part of November. And then angel messages for the last part of November is forgiveness. And whether you are forgiving yourself, whether you're forgiving your soulmate, whether you're forgiving your friend, um, or you're asking for forgiveness, forgiveness is divine. It, uh, it takes effort to, to go in and decide, you know what, everybody's human and it's okay. So, um, so you're going to be either receiving or giving some forgiveness towards the end of November. Now, for the Green Oracle deck, in the beginning of the month, you get number 26, Summer. And at the end of the month, you get number 29, The World Around Me. So for the summer card, it seems like this is blossoming. This is, you know, fruits coming to maturity. You know, you're, you're growing. And that is, uh, that is what I'm seeing for this card. You know, a, a general growing in the first part of November. And then a harmony and balance with the world around you in the last part of November. Now, the final card is from the Hidden Worlds Oracle deck. It is number seven, the Tree of Illumination, Truth, Revelations, and Understanding. So it's possible truth is going to come to light, um, especially with this forgiveness being right here. It's possible that a truth is going to come to light towards the middle part of November, and you're going to need to forgive someone, but you're very capable of doing it. And your final energy going into December is this Ten of Coins. So that is, you know, celebrations. It's, uh, yeah, it's prosperity and generosity and stability. So whatever secret comes to light, you are going to master it beautifully. You're going to, you're going to come through it without any issues at all. That is all the messages I have for anyone who identifies as Libra. I wanted to close by asking you, please subscribe for me and click the like button. That helps me build my channel, and I really like reading tarot for you. So I'm really trying to build this channel. So thank you for all of your help and support. And until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who identify as Scorpio, either by sun, moon, or rising. Thank you for clicking on my video. This is going to be November 2020 predictions for your sign. So starting right off with tarot, the energy that we have, you know, kind of coming into November is the Knight of Coins. Now the Knight of Coins is all about investments going well and uh, money from work. The, so this is financial security due to your consistent effort. So congratulations, you've worked hard, you're getting what you, uh, what you've earned. Now, any hidden issues going into November would be the King of Cups. The King of Cups signifies uh, love and generosity. It can be a romantic partner or just a sensitive man in your around you, or it could be you because all the court cards could be either one. Um, so this is, it doesn't even seem like a hidden issue. It seems like a hidden blessing uh, going into November because you're going to have somebody in your corner. Now, the first part of November, you get the Four of Cups. This card's about boredom, so it looks like you're going to have a little bit of boredom going into November. Maybe you need to find something to challenge you a little bit because uh, there's definitely some boredom. Uh, towards the midpoint, you get the Priestess. That's Major Arcana, so definitely some form of shift happening in, happening in mid-November for you. Um, this is the card of the psychic. This could mean that you're using your intuition to make good choices between your options. Um, it's, uh, it's about following your intuition, following your soul path, you know, finding your soul path. Now, for the end of November, you get the Three of Cups. This signifies celebrations, parties, uh, creativity, and projects. can even signify birth. So those of you who are expecting sometime in the month of November... Looks like end of November is going to be your time. So congratulations on that. Um, this could also be the holiday, you know, with uh, Thanksgiving being towards the end of November, getting together with family and friends, just kind of enjoying the holiday together. Now for obstacles to look out for during the month of November, you get the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords represents a stalemate. Um, it can be taking a break in a relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It can be 
you know, a friendship or even associates. Uh, but it is, you know, it, uh, this could represent a person who crosses you. So just be mindful of that in the month of November and, you know, kind of stay, you know, keep, not stay guarded, but keep aware of what's going on around you to kind of protect yourself. And for your energy flowing into December out of November, you get the two of coins. The two of coins is all about decisions. You know, will I or won't I is really what the two of coins is about. And with this two of swords being here as your, you know, obstacle for November, it's possible that someone's going to cross you and you have to decide whether or not they're going to remain a, a part of your life. So, so that is something to, to look out for. But either way, these can be very good decisions too. It can be, you know, do I want, you know, this wonderful blessing or would I rather have this wonderful blessing? Um, so, so that is really a good card to have going into November because you will have options. Now, as far as the angels, you get Archangel Zad Kael looking out for you in the month of November and the advice to withdraw. So while this looks like a very sad card, it, it is just essentially self-protection. It is giving yourself space so that you can heal yourself. So you may need some time for meditation, some just general you time, you know, take a bubble bath, you know, um, read a book, whatever it is, withdraw some and uh, spend some time with yourself. That is, uh, that's the advice for you for November. Now, <clears throat> in the beginning of November, you get doing better. So possibly getting over being ill. Um, but also just doing better inside you look how look how excited he is just to be alive he's not necessarily has he hasn't necessarily been sick he's just happy to be there so you're gonna have a a positive energy coming into the beginning of november now for the green oracle deck for the end of november it's nature's imperfection this is all about the fact that none of us are perfect and uh it's, it's one of those things where um, you need to accept your imperfections. They're not bad. They're just part of who you are. And accept them and don't be sorry for being you. Everything, everyone is imperfect in some way. So just accept yourself for who you are and don't apologize for it. You are you and you should be proud of that. Now, finally, the last card is from the hidden worlds oracle deck and it is the mother awakens it's compassion compassion nurture guidance this is all about getting the love of the well essentially mother earth and and whatnot this is love coming out this is love going in and uh, and that should be your focus for november just this pure love of a parent whether it's being shown to you or shown by you this pure love should be your focus for November. So with that said, that's all the messages I have for Scorpio. Um, if you enjoyed my reading, please help me build my channel by subscribing and clicking the like button. I really appreciate all the support and love reading tarot for you. So until next time, Scorpios, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who identify as Sagittarius. This is your November 2020 tarot uh, predictions. So let's start with the energy that you have coming into November. You get the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is about intuition and love. Um, strong self-expression and stepping into your power. Just look how powerful she looks. She, is, she knows who she is and she's not ashamed of it. So, so that's the energy you bring into the beginning of November. Now, as far as hidden issues you have coming into November, you get the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups can signify romance or a proposal. So if you guys are to that point with your soulmate, then this may be a, um, a proposal in the beginning part of November. Or no, really, this is somewhere in November anywhere. So this could be a, uh, a proposal. It, uh, it can signify new friends. It, uh, it can, if it represents a person, it can be a charming kind of idealistic type person. Um, for the first part of November, you get the Knight of Wands as your blessings. The Knight of Wands can signify action and energy and uh, a whirlwind romance. 
So I'm, I'm feeling more and more that there's a romantic thing going on here for you for November, for at least most of you. Um, whether it's, you know, a, a new relationship, an existing relationship, or the commitment point in a relationship, there's definitely um, romantic energy going on here. Now, for the mid part of November, you get the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is all about choices and options and making the right choice, you know, choosing what's best for you. So definitely you're going to have decisions that you make in uh, November and just make sure that you choose what's actually right for you. Now, towards the end of November, you get the Eight of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of Cups energy here. This is this could be a an actual departure. It could be some time apart from someone, um, or someone leaving to go somewhere to do something. Uh, whether it's you know they're traveling for school for work, um, it could be your significant other that's traveling. Um, this is just you know, or it could be you that's traveling. This is you know departures and whatnot and going for um, going for just just going for it. You know, go with the flow, and, and it definitely could signify a departure. Now, for obstacles to look out for in the month of November, you have the Two of Coins. So there's definitely going to be decisions. Um, here you've got decisions, too. So there's going to be major decisions, or or at least multiple minor decisions, towards the middle of November. And uh, this, is, you know, this is telling you make sure you make the right decision. This is saying make a decision. Don't be afraid to make a decision. And as far as your energy going into December out of November, you get the Six of Swords. This is all about moving on after testing. So definitely there's some choices, there's some tests in your November, but you're going to come through it just fine and uh, you're going to move on past it. Now for your Angel Oracle, in the first part of November, you get Be Accommodating. Um, that just means, you know, hey, whatever whatever situation you find yourself in, Make sure that you're being your best self. You know, that's, you know, be accommodating to yourself, to others. You know, know that nobody's perfect and uh, and make good decisions. You will have Archangel Uriah looking out for you for the month of December. I mean, sorry, for the month of November. And uh, yeah, that's, that's just a beautiful energy to be protected by. So from the Green Oracle deck, for the beginning of November, you get Pristine. This is all about recognizing the pristine beauty of nature around you. You know, the the world is a wonderful, wonderful place and you should spend some time uh, appreciating that. And then finally, education. So as you're appreciating the world, make sure you share that with someone else. Educate other people on how to, uh, how to really appreciate and take care of our planet. And finally, you get the relics of Lemuria fragments, memory, reclaiming. So this could be related to past lives, if you believe in that. Um, it is, it's definitely just a very soft energy. It is knowing what to do. You know, it's memory. It's memory that you, you don't even necessarily remember, but are reclaiming. And, uh, and take that memory and make good decisions with it and teach others how how to take care of the planet and uh, and know for certain that you're going to get past whatever tests you encounter during November because this is moving past tests. All right, well, that's all I have for Sagittarius today. Um, I wanted to thank you so much for letting you, me read for you because I know you have options and I'm really glad you chose me. And um, if you wouldn't mind, please subscribe and click the like button. That helps me build my channel and I really want to continue reading tarot um, as my life path. So until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.